Hey everyone, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. Stopping by here. Um, I understand Nicole needed just a little bit of help with ladies night and stuff like that. Would love to do that in the future, but for now, I'll just kind of bring a little bit of that fun energy here. Pull you all a couple of cards and we'll just see what happens. Uh, thank you so much for uh, allowing me, Nicole, to you know share a little bit on here and <laughs> hopefully not drive too many people crazy. Taurus, yes, this has to do with your reading. This could have to do with love or anything. All right, my fellow Taurians out there. Um, also too, yeah, I just kind of put myself together. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Taurus, uh, I really don't even need these cards here, so we may try something different. All right, how about this? We're not going to use them. Before you panic, I may pull one, okay? Uh, this is hard for me too. <laughs> And so anyways, Taurus, your intuition is that good that you can see BS from a mile away. You uh, And people are really offended by it, even though you don't have to say anything, even though you try to get rid of the word trying here. I'm saying this for myself too. Perform to the best of your ability in every area of your life. And, uh, you know, we all have our ups and downs. We're not going to you know, really uh, reiterate on the past here for any of us, all right? Cross-watcher, this can go vice versa too. I'm not an astrologist, but you may want to check out the breakdown of your astrological chart too. Also, to everyone, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, are you studying numerology? Are you an astrologer? Uh, you know, crystals, uh, anything, a healer, you know, somebody that could help Carolyn with these lines because uh, apparently that's not an emergency situation out there. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so not really though because you are dealing with this particular type of energy, all right? You're dealing with uh, going through a breakthrough right now whether you have nothing at all. That's not gonna last for long. Of course, you're stubborn, honey. <laughs> Give them a run for their money. You know, uh, you're going to, and I don't want to say that because in the past, again, you've had to claw your way out of particular situations and everyone telling you, um, you know, their advice, which is, it's great to get, you know, constructive criticism. Uh, and, you know, what's normal for me may not be normal for you. It's like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> You know, what's abundant to me is different than what's abundant to you. When we're getting in synchronicities and messages, it, we can totally read it different, but it all pretty much has the same message, all right? Uh, so let me put it like this. It's not like, and for you singles out there, I feel like it's really getting some people angry. It, it really is. Um, I'm sorry. I just, I had to pull a card. Working on it. Stargazer, set your sights higher. All right. Um, people are going to not like you, uh, whether you are in a low situation, whether you are working your way up. Oh, they'll be there to use you. They'll be there to criticize you. They'll be there to, um, you know, want to come on into your life and have a relationship with you. Some are good, some are bad. Again, you're all in different areas. Okay, so this may not resonate with you, and this is very positive because you are recognizing that that's ascending, that's raising your higher vibrational frequencies, all right? Uh, also, too, what was I saying? Some of you out there are astrologists. And by the way, to any of my fellow numerologists out there, I really, math for me, as soon as they say, oh yeah, that has to do with the, the numbers, I've had to learn the breakdown of those numbers and the meanings to it, but math, Mm -mm. <laughs> Taurus, it's just like, right, people may say that you are slow at doing things, and but you get it done right. And if you don't, uh, people are the first ones to point out your failures and be like, told you so. She probably got turned up or he probably just, you know, was off playing video games or just not even, you know, and it's crazy too because it's just like, then they try to throw out that reverse psychology. Well, if we tell them they're going to be nothing and this and that, this and that, and get them real angry, then maybe then they will work on their own life and try to prove me wrong. And then again, I'm right. 
this is a type of energy Taurus has been dealing with for quite some time. Uh, also, too, maybe other fellow Earth signs out there. Taurus, maybe Taurus, 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 Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Uh, and it's just like, but then, you know, this person can't wait to see your downfall, even though they put on a, a, a proclaimed Oscar award performance. Like, please, honey, you know, uh, <laughs> and it's like. Uh, all right. So, but when you start gaining success, they're, they're, they're just proving me wrong. So I'm right. Whatever. You don't talk to them. You cut them out of your life. Okay. And then you, you're good. Taurus uh, are pretty stable and don't say we can't get turned up. I know, uh, sometimes we can be boring. Uh, also see if you are working in one area too much like me right now, it's like, Oh, what are you doing? You know, you got the dream killers out there trying to like get every detail of your life. And it's like, you don't want to be mean. However, it's just like, all right, you know what? You see who's who and what's what. And it's like annoying. It's a vicious cycle. All right. I'm throwing a monkey wrench into that cycle. What are you all doing? I'm not putting up with it. And you just, uh, okay, fine. If you have to get into that mind frame, I'm going to succeed. Uh, in order to prove them wrong. However, you don't even need to prove them wrong because they're irrelevant. Uh, also, I know I sound totally valley girl, right? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not annoying people. Uh, anyways, here, so we do have the stargazer. It says set your sights higher again. You know, uh, whether it's uh, within yourself too. I notice, uh, oh, gir like girl, guy, whoever is listening to this, you know, again, not gender specific. But I was on a call today with, you know, someone I hadn't talked to in a while. All right. From across the way, across the pond. In any ways, he said I looked absolutely fabulous. I mean, he was tossing around the word, you know, stunning and glamorous. And and then I, I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, uh-huh. And so some of you could be working with an air sign. It could be uh, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then... Uh, I don't think he meant to say in a bad way, or maybe he did, but whatever. He's just kind of like that, so it was funny. <laughs> uh, this was what, is, what he said. Wow, you really look fabulous, Carolyn. You look healthy. Healthy. Um... Yeah, so I, I was just like, oh, okay, thank you. You know, you're psychic when they, and uh, people can say things in different ways, different tones, stuff like that. He was not saying it to be mean or anything like that. However, I'm like, healthy, he's calling me fat. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, you know what? That's it. <laughs> what else? So please try not to think like that. Like what else here? Look to the stars. Maybe you stumbled across this channel and you're like, okay, we're going to see what, you know they're up to now and what they're reading now or discussing now. And actually it's, it's kind of good because, uh, you can learn from different people. All right. So let's say you don't believe in anything. All right. I work with all types of people. All right. Everyone's belief system is different. Some of them do not have a belief system at all. And that's all right too. All right. Look into the science of it. Uh, you know, nature, you know, again, trusting yourself, I mean, it, I'm not even going to get into the whole, like, semantics of it or whatever, but there's no real written rule, okay? Um, why do you look to the sky? Why do you look to the stars? Can't predict things. Okay. Um, Farmer's Almanac. Where do you think they got that information? The stars, the sky, all right? Uh, you know, you can see the sun set in the west, rise in the east, okay? So then that way you can always find your way if you're ever lost in the woods somewhere, which I kind of wouldn't mind being right now. <laughs> it's like, geez, is this a reading or are you talking about yourself? Taurus, this is your reading. The stargazer too also. So you look to the sky, all right? You can look to the moon. You can work with the moon energies, you know, the star energies, Um or daytime, daytime too, uh, sunset, sun rises, as you can see kind of in the imagery in the background here. They've already got their set set. Hi, honey, and for some of you out there that are single, ready to mingle, someone's got their eye on you. Who's this person? Well, we're gonna look into the details. 
All right, it looks like somebody here uh, with blue eyes here, you know, uh, light tone, uh, maybe uh, mulatto, maybe, uh, you know, of the Latin descent, maybe, uh, you know, uh, Caucasian. I'm not sure, okay, but <laughs> it's just uh, they have lighter eyes. Uh, it seems to me like they look gorgeous. However, you see that they're in this cloak right here, so possibly I'm not sure if they're like, um, they're very wise. All right, uh, and it's just like, is this gonna work? I'd like to look into this one here. I'm not sure. Or you've got your uh, sights set on someone or both of you. Oh, if we look closer here, it looks like that there are uh, particular signs carved into the celebsy here. All right, we have what looks like some of you could possibly be working with you know, Taurus, Scorp Scorpio, uh, possibly Cancer, uh, also to who else was on here? Who else did I see? Uh, somebody definitely here, maybe even a Pisces. It's like, wow, she's way off. None of this is making any sense. Thought you weren't going to read the cards, right, Carolyn? Working on it. They're a good tool uh, as far as imagery, as far as everyone here goes. Maybe... You're like, Carolyn, we're not, we're not kids. We're not kids here. All right. So these are why these readings are uh, a bit different. Okay. Because I'm not going to uh, baby anyone. <laughs> you know, I come with love and, you know, respect as long as it's given. And I'm not going to baby anyone. I'm just going to go through it. Okay. Uh, those there's different levels to certain classes, all right? So we have the Ten of Wands here. This is the completion to a cycle, all right? When it comes to wands, also, too, some of you could be looking at working with, uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, we do have to remember there may be somebody new coming in, all right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? So uh, also, too, in the background there, we have what looks like... Uh, it's deer, definitely stag, moose, something like that. Also to carrying the weight of the world, all right? But you have done your manifestations, whether you have, whether you haven't, and you're new, all right? Those full moon energies, you decide whether you want to cut that off or just keep it on because honestly, too, some of you could be working with back problems, you know, working on your posture. Also, too, uh, it's just like letting go of all of that. It's not your problem anymore, all right? And if people can't handle the fact that you are working on your business or uh, working on even if you are not looking for a business or a relationship, you know, uh, maybe you just want your stay-at-home mom. That's work, too. You know, uh, keeping things together. Also, too, big shout out to uh, the, the single Taurians out there or single parents out there. Or even if you're in that should I get, uh, should I stay, should I go relationship. And even for the ones that may be in relationships that are not happy, big shout out to all of you. You know, you've been carrying the weight of the world pretty much on your back. All right, you've been carrying everybody else's burdens. You've been carrying everybody else's problems, not because you necessarily want to, not necessarily because you are, they're gullible, they're stupid. You can easily take advantage of them. Don't do that to a Taurus because this is the thing. <laughs> a Taurus will do that a little bit or maybe just a little bit too far, so you have to be careful with that Taurus too. But they will do that purposely just to see how far a person's willing to, uh, willing to take it and then it's just like this uh bull in a china shop all right uh and you know waving that flag getting that bull going all right it's it's like that bull riding there you know it, there's no surprise you know some cowboys prodding a a bull and they're like uh neglecting it and stuff like that not saying because oh geez louise i can only picture the comments now we take care of our bulls, Carolyn. We don't abuse them. We just use them for bull riding. Okay, please. Um, anyways, I know this is like kind of turned up. This is great though. Also too, it's just, you don't need to deal with anyone's BS either. 
All right, you don't wanna be anyone's verbal punching bag. You don't wanna carry the problems and the weight of the world on your own. You know, finances, because a lot of you are having to do it on your own. You're having to get your own food or grow your own food. And that takes work. Gardeners, big shout out to all of you out there. You know, uh, cleaning, cooking, um, you know, keeping yourself up together, you know, if you are in classes. Uh, also, too, big shout out to any college students out there. I, big shout out to all of you because I don't know how you all do it, honestly. Uh, and also, too, you're never too old to go back to school or to learn something. Yeah, I know. Uh, also, too, this is not having to carry the biggest weight on your shoulders that there is and that is blaming yourself for everything that's gone wrong because people will verbally and it's been a pattern too you know uh it's been like people let's say like if you get in trouble for something all right and then you people are like okay good we got something on that person so this is what we're going to do we're going to throw ourselves at them and then if we can't have what we want out of them whether it's to clean out their account whether it's to you know uh get into a relationship because we think they're an idiot and that they're going to fall for our cheating lying stealing this and that and uh keep coming back and forth like it's not a big deal uh also to uh it's just like okay you're not dealing with that, and that gets them really angry, Taurus. A lot of you Taurians are out there uh, that are dealing with that. You know, success gets people jealous, you know, and that's not me um, coming out. Yeah, good. You should flex a bit. You know what? You should flex a bit. Good for you, honestly. And uh, you're letting all of that stuff go. You're moving on, and people can't seem to handle it, and it, it, it's it's... It's awful, too, because you want to get out there and meet new people if you are single or if you're in that, should I stay, should I go, because I'm going to find somebody better and let this person, you know, keep it moving. Uh, so then what you're going to want to do in that particular case is they'll eventually, whoever has issues with you will eventually stop or, you know, they'll probably move on to stalk somebody else and then come back. Like It's just crazy. Uh, maybe some of you could possibly be moving as well, but you're moving in a great direction. I'm really liking this. And you notice that, you know, it is. This is Pathfinder. This is also, too, uh, when it comes to particular fours, that they kind of run the show there. All right. Uh, and that's what you are pretty much doing right now, or at least learning to do that. People can't handle it. They're going to toss everything that they can at you to watch you fail. No. Like the great Lizzo said, you know, uh, you can try to bury me, bury that seed all you want. Pour some water on it and watch it grow pretty much. Very last message. Actually, this will be your first message. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So do, don't let anyone destroy your dream. All right? And you are going to be in a fabulous relationship here. Again, stargazing. This is looking up to the sky as well. Throwing it out there. Giving it up to universe, whatever it may be. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you all so much. Sorry for babbling. And I've got to work on this no card thing. What do you all think? <laughs> Leave comments below. Bye.